is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today is a very very exciting video we are talking about my new pet snake look at that beauty say hello hello to the world here we go all right so let's talk about this snake this is my first ever pet snake she is a nelson's milk snake a hatchling when i went to the expo the breeder said she was born sometime during the summer i believe he said june i've had her for about two weeks now she's still a little bit flighty as you can see but i've been working on handling her every day except for when i feed her so that she kind of gets used to being out because i definitely want to be more hands-on with this animal oops and there she goes but so far oh no don't, don't don't go please don't go up there no 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 i'm sorry you can't go up this leaf so like i said she is a nelson's milk snake just the wild type version not any kind of special morph but as you can see her colors are absolutely absolutely stunning it's really quite interesting they use a form of mimicry to mimic the coral snake i'm sure many of you have heard of this they have the yellow black and red bands or more like in her case almost looks more like a cream or a white rather than a yellow but as the rhyme goes red touches yellow you're a dead fellow but red touches black you're an okay jack you can see on her scales i don't know if the camera is focusing but you can see that the red is touching the black so she is obviously a harm harm, harm i almost said harmful she is a harmless species of snake and non-venomous unlike the snake she mimics which is the coral snake as you can see, she is still pretty small. She's actually about 18 inches in length, but because she's so slender, she does not look that big or intimidating and has just been super duper fun. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you might be wondering why I have her in the same room that I have all my other pets when I mentioned in the first video that she was actually going through quarantine. And that's because although it still has been less than a month and she still is going through quarantine, I see no harm in having her breathe the same air. She's not going to be going near any of the enclosures I'm just gonna be holding her and we'll wash my hands immediately after we're done filming this really this is just because this place is really the only ideal place I have to film so that's why we're in here but she is not going to be going near any of the other enclosures and so far she has been super duper healthy she has already taken her first two meals of frozen thawed pinkies which is super duper great and as you can see she just loves to explore she has been really really active which has been a lot of fun because I know with some snakes like ball pythons or even Kenyan sand boas, you don't always see them. And so what I really enjoyed about having this milk snake is I actually get the chance to see her. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab her before she goes anywhere further. She also looks just like the Gucci snake, which is pretty cool. And I'm very, very pleased because she has not musked once. Yes, she's very flighty when I first initially tried to grab her out of her enclosure, but she has not musked, AKA pooped on me whatsoever, which is super duper cool. And it has just been a great first time experience with this snake. Now I'm sure you all probably want to see her eat. So we're gonna go ahead and show those clips, but this is my snake who just wants to clamber all over me. But anyways, let's go ahead and see this little girl eat. So this is her dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and offer this to her. She probably won't take it right in front of us. Maybe we'll get lucky, not really sure. First snake ever, so we're just gonna try it out. So let's see how she takes it. So like I said, we've had her for over, oh, I don't even know. Yeah, it's been two days. And this pinky is warmed up. I might just leave it somewhere. Don't know if she'll sense it. She's kind of hiding. I'm gonna actually try taking out this a little bit. I don't want to make her too nervous, but just give her some space. So. Might just have to leave this in here because she probably won't. Nah. She actually took it and is eating it with its head. Oh my gosh, she just took it right away. That's awesome. So that went off without a hitch. 
can see the little bulge now. That is a super small pinky mouse that I just fed her. But she took it without any problems, which I'm very, very happy about. I was pretty nervous. She's had like a whole 24 to 36 hours to settle in, so I thought I might as well just try and feed her. So I'm very, very happy that she just took it right away, no problems. I'll probably change out her paper towel in a little bit, but she's... Look at her, she's looking at me. Hello? Oh, oh, you're angry at the camera. Are you really now, Miss Fussy? Alright, so I promised a quick enclosure tour in the last video, so I'm just going to show you really briefly. You can see that she's on paper towel right now. Like I said, that's because she's currently in a kind of quarantine. And I've just got my phone light on here. Usually she just has the ambient light from the window coming in. She's got a hide. Let me see if I can move that back. So she's got a hide, warm hide on this side right here fake plant. She can also hide under this piece of cork bark that's right here. We've got another cold hide on this side and then her water dish is right here. It's big enough for her to soak in if she wanted to but I haven't really caught her. I have caught her drinking once but that's about it. And then oh there's also another hide here. So there's lots of places for her to feel secure. She used to not be able to go underneath the paper towel, but now she can because it got loosened last time I changed it. So sometimes she hides under there, though her favorite hide is definitely either this one back here. You can see her actually hanging out in the corner over here. All in a knot. Hello. You can see her hanging out in the corner over here. Hello. And then she also likes this hide over here on this side, which is this little log thing. I apologize for the lighting being really bad. It's kind of hard to film this enclosure, but it's kind of hard to film this enclosure because of the way it's set up, but it's definitely escape proof because this grid, she cannot poke her nose through it. She has tried, but she cannot escape. So as long as this lid is closed, she's just fine. I know it might seem a little small, but as you saw her, she is also very small. I believe this is like 10 by 18 or something like that. I will upgrade her as she gets bigger, but for right now, because she's such a small hatchling, this should be fine for the time being. After the quarantine period is done, I will switch her onto Aspen so that she can feel more secure. But for right now, we just have paper towels so we can monitor her. But anyways, once she's out of quarantine, we'll be able to put her on Aspen, but she will stay in this enclosure. I know some of you are asking that question. But anyways, that is her tank. I apologize again for it being difficult to see, but you know, it's kind of the trade-off. I don't like to bug her too much, so there's not even like a permanent light on here or anything. So that's that. Now, as far as naming goes, I'm still stuck between the two suggestions I gave you guys in the last video, which were Winnie and Sienna. Now, let me explain the meaning of why I really like both of these names and before she disappears into my sleeve. The first name, Winnie, I liked because, you know, she's first of all kind of the colors of Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is red and yellow, and, and also the day I got her, which was January 18th, was Winnie the Pooh Day. Oh, hello! Are you giving me kisses? You're so sweet! It's really funny because when they flick their little tongues out at you, it literally feels like, you know, like butterfly kisses because their tongue is just so small and she's just adorable, so... The other name is Sienna, and the reason I like Sienna is because Sienna is, first of all, a city in Italy that I absolutely love. Plus, I mean, you know, the color burnt Sienna, which is kind of like a red-orange, which is also similar to the color that she has. And Sienna is just a cool name. So those are the two names I'm debating between, Winnie and Sienna. You can go ahead and vote by clicking the poll, which should be right up in this corner. But so far, she has been very, very inquisitive, which I absolutely love. She is quite sweet and has not even tried lunging or feigning bites. 
and she's just the cutest thing. She has taken both of her meals without problems, which is really, really nice. It was something I was very, very worried about, but so far she's done great, so that's awesome. So anyways, that is my new pet, Nelson's Milk Snake. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her. Remember to vote for the name Winnie or Sienna in the upper hand corner. I still don't know if that'll be a final decision for me, whatever you guys vote. I'm still kind of trying out both names. I'm not sure what I like better because I really like both names. Maybe I'll just have to get a second snake. Anyway, that's her. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her eat. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see with her in the future. And yeah, that's my new snake. Say bye to the camera, Winnie. Or Sienna. Say bye. <laughs>